Because poker, you know, in all honesty, you know, I think we all know, any, anybody that's like a seasoned veteran, we know that poker can be the best game on planet Earth. And we also know that poker can be absolutely brutalizing sometimes. And it depends where you are in your life too. Like at that time in my life, uh, you know, when I didn't have any actual cash and all my money was stuck on full tilt poker and we didn't know when we were getting that back. We ended up getting it back like three years later or something absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I didn't know if that money was ever coming back. You, I couldn't even log into my full tilt poker account to see how much money I had. So all, all you can see when you log in is like the Department of Justice has taken over the account, blah, blah, blah. So it was like very, it's a very stressful time, you know, for, for, for a guy in his young 20s. So. But it's also just a part of poker. Like eventually, you know, you take so many hits like that, that you just kind of become immune to it in a way where it's just like, yeah, things can still affect you, but um, you become immune in a way where, you know, it just affects you less and less as you go on. Like you just get less and less affected by it. Uh, there's absolutely nothing. Oh, we got another 4X Razor in the building. Mr. Nine, uh, 1696. Okay. I'm going to call this little 4X Raise from this guy. <clears throat> Let's just see what's going on. Maybe we'll throw some glasses on here. Let's get a little bit serious for a minute. All right. <clears throat> All right, we got a little bet through there. So we're about break even-ish uh, on a day. Uh, we got sixes. We'll keep the glasses on with the sixes here. So we'll play this hand. We'll take the glasses off once we fold a hand. <coughs> Blimer's blind. I'm always going to go to four here. Maybe even five sometimes. I don't know. Oh, okay. I think four is, four is fine. I'll go four. Blind versus blind. Small blind versus big blind. And I'll go three probably in every other every other spot. We got ace nine. That's right. We'll take five. Um, okay. <laughs> Jonas says, no ultras, please. Heads up cash or rec speed spins. I'm curious to hear why you don't want to see ultras, uh, Mr. Jonas. Ultras are kind of fun on stream, right? They just go fast and like, you know, you just kind of, um, <coughs> yeah, it's kind of quick. Uh, or six max cash. Uh, let's check. Um, six max cash. Okay, yeah, six max cash is an option. Uh, Rancho says yes, heads up cash or just cash. Rancho says things you enjoy the most. I had wrote it off. I wrote it off. I was like, you know what? That 110,000, <clears> it's gone forever. It, that was my mindset at that time. This money's gone forever. It's, it's never going to come back. Um, I, thought, I thought I would never get it back. So I gave up on it, and then when it came back, it was almost like a bonus because I already, I already gave up on it, and it was gone. Um, so this Nato guy is the guy that raised us on that river. He's also the guy that that not on three bets and then snap folded. It's good that he folded because he knows I'm not folding to this guy. I'm not folding that guy. Reed really says, "Yeah, honestly, poker gave me highest highs and lowest lows when I think about it." Yes, 100%. It's a very, but at, at a certain point, when you become like you know, when you play more and more. You don't have so many highs and lows anymore. Now it's like, you know, you get to a point where everything's like just a little bit high, a little bit low, because you're just so used to, you know, everything, you know, losing a lot of money, making a lot of money. So um, it becomes not so much of a big deal. I'm going to, I'm going to three bet this bad boy here. I'm going to make a big boy three bet too. We'll bump it up to $13. Let's see if anybody wants to play. When I think about it, a couple million hands numb it down a bit, but at the same time takes away some of the fun excitement. Yeah, uh, you definitely get numbed. Um, but yeah, some of the fun and excitement, you know, will fade away. But uh, but yeah, I mean, that's just that's just how it goes, you know. Um, all right, so we're actually just going to bet $8 here. It's a little small little bet. And we will get away with it, okay? We'll get away with a little eight dollar bet. Queen ten offsuit here. All right, let's let's splash around a little bit, guys. You know, let's splash around a little bit. Let's bump it up to ten dollars, cause why not? Why not? Why not, guys? We're gonna play a little bit aggressive in these games, like I said. Oh, 
Look what we have here. All right, fuck <laughs> the straight. Okay, this is this is how you win in cash games, guys. You 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 three back queen ten offsuit on the button, and <laughs> you just flop the straight. I mean, what else what else would you really want to do? I bet half pot. I bet half exactly. Not a coin more or less. Any folds? That's very unfortunate. Uh, we wanted to see some more action there. Okay, spin love says. It'd be fun to watch some non-reg spins, maybe low-stake ultras. I think I'm going to go for the low-stake ultras because I feel like I would have fun playing those too uh, on stream. Just because everything's kind of quick and you have to think less in those games. Um, so that way I'll just be able to still chat and stuff. Wow, this, this, this whale just raised to $4. <laughs> I love it. Um, Rancho says, how, how are you going to take minus $2 session this time, Jack? I'm not sure what you mean by that. You good? Question. <laughs> I think you're saying if I lose $2 in the session, I'm not going to lose in the session, Mr. Jenner. You know that. I don't lose. That's not how I roll. We're going to win. Um, and that's that, you know. <laughs> We're just going to win, you know. That's eight ball in a turn. Nope. Okay. <coughs> yeah, so we're not taking any losses. We're just going to win. Reap says, I miss the days when poker stores were ran by people who actually cared about poker and loved the game. God, me too, man. Me too. It's just poker stores is just... I don't know. It's just not the same, you know? Yeah, they used to care with Supernova Elite Program and stuff. And now party, party poker is that way. They actually care about the people that are playing on the site, which is great, great to see that, you know? That at least there's one site that actually cares. Like, um, so yeah, I like I like party poker a lot better than stars just because of that. They're just customer service is better. They actually care about their players. They actually reward their players. Um, yeah, the thing with these, a lot of these is going to be pre flop. Um, we're going to limp our little nine four suited here. Let's see how things go. And then we'll, we'll probably Martin Gill up to the twenties. Hopefully, if we start winning, we'll Martin Gill up to the fifties and the hundred. I mean, I'm I'm open to doing a positive Martin Gill. Um, as high as 500s. So if we start winning, we'll just, you know, we'll just let it fly. We'll just, we literally will just let it fly. So we're up $30 right now. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, even if you have half of a peanut brain, they don't want to play you anymore. They just sit out because they're, they're, they're like some of these play guys in the cash games, they're just waiting on like people that have no brains and they don't mind waiting, you know, weeks if they have to probably to get a player like that. All right, we had two pair here. Um, we'll just bet a little half pot of rule here, and we're gonna jam most rivers, you know. DZO 1981 says party better, but software on party not that great. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. The software is just not the best, but with like customer service and like rake back and stuff, I just I just think party is just a lot better site to be honest. So um, I prefer playing on here anyways. Reapworthy says, well, the software on party is better than stars these days. The old stars software was perfect. The new one sucks for regulars. Fonts too small. Everything feels weird. Um, I still think that I still think that the poker stars uh, software is better. But um, I just think Party Poker is just better as a site because of the, you know they offer you know a lot of rake back and then um, and they just treat their players better. Customer service is better. You know, on Poker Star, I was having an issue on Poker Stars, right? I, I was cash, I cashed out, and it took like three months for them to process a cash out. It's just like absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, Party Poker has been rock solid. They have good customer service. They always answer within 24 hours and stuff. So yeah, I like playing on there. I think. It's the same two guys I just played against. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the Twitch now because I have the live Twitch on the side. And yes, these are the same two guys. So hopefully we win this pot. It'll be good for the Martingale. And we do. Okay. Okay, so if we win this game, then we'll be back to $30 profit. We'll fire another 10 after this. Um, and if we win that one, we'll head on the 20s, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll probably win this game too, and it will be up 30. That, that's that's what's going to happen. Wow, these games are even faster than I thought. 
Like, I feel like we played like four hands here. And, and this game is literally about to be done because... Like, how many big... This guy's like five bigs now? This is incredible. <laughs> these games are... These games are incredible. They're so fast. All right, we're going to call this off. Up against pocket nines. Hopefully we'll just hit a jack ball here for a straight. A ten or a queen is not enough for me. A flush can do it too. I like flushes and straights. Okay, so we'll play one more ten. Um, so we're still up 30 right now. Uh, if we win this game, we're 100% guaranteed going to um, play a $20 game after this. If we win this game. So if we win, we're 100% martingaling up to 20. And if we win that one, we can continue martingaling. Uh, let's see how it goes. 10-4 off, so we'll toss that into the garbage. The geographic stuff, right? Like you can't play on party or poker stars in America where I'm from. So like, um, you know, being from New York and not being able to, to go back home and play poker kind of sucks. But you, you would think eventually they're, they're probably going to sort that out. I, I would imagine at least. I mean, that they're going to, you know, get that sorted at some points. Um, yeah, because like a lot of people want to play poker in America, right? I mean, like why, you know, um, why would you not? And it's funny because when we first moved from Black Friday, I th we thought like, you know, it would be like a year or two and then poker will come back to the US and like these sites will come back. And like now, like 10 years later, I'm still in Canada, which is kind of crazy to think about because it, it originally it was like, oh yeah, we'll see, like a one year thing. We'll just go for a year, you know, and uh, that'll be that. So we're going to try to hit an ace ball here. And if we do, all right, we tried, we tried very hard to do that and, and it actually worked. Okay, so we hit the ace ball. So if we win this game, we're going to 20. So if we if we win, we're up 30 now. So if we win, we'll be up 40. Um, yeah, and then we'll we'll try some 20s. Okay, so we have the nuts here. Um, it's either between flatting or jamming. I think they're pretty close. If I had the jack of spades, I'd probably flat. This is a jam. I think it's fine. Uh, I'm pretty indifferent between the options there. All right, that sucked that he had the jack ten of spades um so we're gonna lose that pot hopefully we'll we'll hit another ace ball here oh we don't need it but we'll probably hit it anyways oh no he's got a queen all right so if we lose this one we're up 20. all right so we'll try another 10. let's let's let's, let's try another 10. hopefully we'll have a 10x or something crazy uh let's see how it goes i'll need some luck i'll need some luck if we want a martingale and play really high stakes to today then I'll need a little bit of luck on my side because we're only up $20 as of right now. Okay, we're heads up right away, which is nice. Heads up right away versus JBM2006. What you got, JBM? What you got, buddy? What you got? All right, well, we'll make a little no equity barrel here because why not? Not the best hand to make a no equity barrel with there at all, actually, but I still do that versus a random uh, on a board texture like that. Um, if I'm playing a super random, I'll probably take almost any two cards in that spot. But yeah, from a GTR perspective, 10 of hearts and a four there is definitely not the ideal, um, the ideal no equity turn bluff in that spot. So don't try that at home. We'll jam this guy in here. Oh, he's got the ace and the seven. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. We're not doing it so far. Nope, we didn't do it. All right, so now we're only up $10, guys. So this is, this is, all right, let's see. We're only up 10 right now. So 